Hello everyone, welcome to a, I don't, I don't even know what to call this, I want to say a special episode, but it's actually a little, probably a little more than that. Uh, it, it'll be a, um, I hope a really good episode from Ampro Engineering. What we're looking at here is my first Tamiya Hornet. And the Tamiya Hornet has been a very special car for me because effectively it was the car that I based Ampro Engineering on. You know, the first build I did was Superfly 1.0. These are my double wishbone front suspension. Um, you know, I've got a whole smattering of Ampro parts on this car, but effectively the Hornet was what started all of this. 20 years ago, I joined a website called Tamiya Club, and I posted quite a number of photos of my vehicles. Well, one of the gentlemen that replied to me quite often was a guy whose username was Showdog. And Showdog ended up being quite a prominent member of the RC community. When I moved to Northern California, he was actually the first person that I met over here that I'd known from prior to the move. So he, you know, was ultra friendly, really, really amazing. I remember going to his house the first time. This is probably going on, I don't know, 12 years ago. And I had seen his showroom, but one of the cars that I was absolutely in love with from his showroom was of course a dumb hornet right i mean come on a hornet given what show dog had the hornet was nothing but for me it was absolutely the mona lisa my friends i'd like you to meet the mona lisa it's it's a dusty dusty mona lisa but this is show dogs to me a hornet i don't know what it was about this car that made me just fall in love with it you know, it has some pretty common parts on it. It has the CRP front suspension, uh, shock tower and oil filled shocks. It has, I don't know who made these. I mean, I think everybody made the metal Nerf bars. It has some aluminum wheels on it, you know, and a, a, a all chrome. This, I think, is a plastic, yeah, plastic spoiler. Uh, knowing Show Dog is likely to be CCP, but there was just something about this car that I was just blown away by. Um, I was talking to his son and I, I, you know, was pointing out some of his vehicles and we were having a nice discussion and all that. And I pointed at the Hornet and I begged him. I said, please don't sell this car. This is one of the most important cars that your dad has. I'm absolutely in love with it. And within the same breath, I happened to say, and I desperately want this car. Well, it's my car now. Um... You know, it, it was an incredibly touching thing, um, having him give me the car. It was also very difficult to accept this car, partly because, you know, you, you have that feeling of sadness that your friend is gone, but also there's something else that, you know, I don't even think his son really knew about until I mentioned it. Obviously, I've built aftermarket parts for the Hornets. That's, that's no... Um, no surprise to anyone. Well, Show Dog was obsessed with aftermarket parts. This guy went out of his way to find and locate the greatest things for every single one of his cars that was available. And unfortunately, that also meant that for the Hornet, he saw all my Ampro parts. And over many years, he kept saying, oh, man, I have to get your front suspension to put it on this car. And I have to get your roll cage and your this and your that. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to go on Shapeways right now. I was like, no, 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 don't, 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 don't. I don't want you to buy it. I want to give you all those parts because I love your Hornet. And all I want is for my stuff to be on your Hornet. And obviously, you know, life got in the way and, you know, he got busy with things. I got busy with things, but I kept telling him, oh yeah, don't worry. I'm going to give you all those parts, all those parts. And here we are. And there's nothing of mine on this car. And that's very difficult because I, I wanted him to have these parts. I wanted my designs to be on his car. 
And honestly, that's really how I feel when all of you out there send me photographs of your cars with my stuff on it. It's this sense of pride that something that I love, the Hornet, you know, and was able to make slightly better is, you know, it's not just for me, it's for other people out there. It's for all you crazy people that feel the same way. So it really, really is quite, quite wonderful to see this. And, you know, I'll never be able to see these parts on this car that Jim built. Well, I, that's kind of what I thought initially, but now I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I promised him I would give him all these parts and I'm going to keep that promise. I'm still going to give this car all the parts that he wanted and we're going to build it exactly the way that he told me he wanted it. So that is what we're going to do here. I had never completed the double wishbone rear suspension for this car when we had been talking, but he did want everything else. So I think that's going to be the path that we're going to go. We're going to keep the front shocks and shock tower because he put them on there. And I'm going to install my zero offset front arms, these guys right here. So that will allow these to work seamlessly. We're going to put the Ampro cage on this thing because that is not going to affect the body. We'll do the rear shock mount without the wing mount because, again, that won't affect the body. We'll do the lower rear shock mount, the trans brace, the battery door, the front bumper. What I really want for the front bumper is I want to install a chrome set of lights. These... Wait... These are metal. Yeah, you can see me in them. These are metal. Where the hell did he get these? Are you kidding? No, you can't be. These are metal. Wow. I don't know where to get those. Well, what we'll do is we'll have some plastic ones that I'll sand real, real good and paint in a chrome paint for the front bumper. I will not be altering anything on this body. This is the way he had it. This is the way it was supposed to look. It is going to stay this way while it is in my possession. It will not be altered, absolutely not. But will change, this car is going to be made to move. It will become, and you know, just, just to be very, very clear about this thing, anybody out there who's seen how I drive my cars is going to be very, very well aware that yes, it may get a lot of miles, but its underbelly is probably going to stay the way it is. And the good news is it actually has been used a bit. So that, that's a good thing. Um, tires are shot, unfortunately. Tires have never been, well, maybe they have. No, these actually don't have any usage at all. And they're completely rotten. These are not re-release tires. These are original vintage tires. So we are getting a lot of dry rot. Not a big deal. I've got a billion sets of these. I will not be changing these aluminum wheels that he put on there. I'm going to keep as much as possible that he kept. And of course, even though this thing sat on the shelf and was never, well, at least recently run, it is a full bearing car. He has a high tech. Oh, wow. He's got an old high tech receiver servo in here. What plug is this? Okay. Pretty standard plug. It's a Futaba style. We'll put a 2.4 gigahertz receiver in here. Most likely one of my turbo racings. We'll put a most likely a vintage Novak ESC because I've got a whole bunch of them. And then like I typically do, we're going to install a mechanical speed control for decor. Oh, wait, wait, no, we can't. We can't do that because this car is going to get the roll cage. So we need to find a driver. Is there a driver? No driver. So we'll find a driver for it. We need to get the roll cage. I don't know what color to paint it. I don't know. I have to think about that for a little bit. We might go chrome with the roll cage. I don't know. We'll think. If you have any uh, ideas, please feel free and put them in the comments. I don't want to leave you with just a video where I've been talking about the car. I want to make one slight modification. I want to change one thing real quick. Do you have any idea what that thing is going to be? Well, let's find out. Someone just needed to get a bath. I'm sorry. I could not handle all of the dirt and dust that was caked on this little guy. So we gave him a scrub. Please stay tuned. I've got quite a bit of parts to order for this vehicle from Shapeways. 
I'm really looking forward to this build, um, a build that I had really promised Showdog I would help him with in the past. So I'm just trying to fulfill that promise. Well, my friends, thank you all so much for watching. And if you are as big a fan of this Hornet as I am, I've got a lot for you coming up. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.